and there you have it bb agi an autonomous agent that will complete your tasks in a ui just like chatgpt hey guys today we're going to be looking at baby agi but with ui so baby agi is like a auto gpt or an autonomous gpt that enables you to plan task lists execute those task lists and then develop subsequent task lists to achieve whatever you want to achieve right now so far all the auto gpts that we have installed were terminal versions clearly they ran in the console like environments like this and this is one of the first few versions that offers a proper ui like a chat gpt and we're going to be exploring how to set it up in your local system now, one major difference between auto gpt uh, and baby agi is that it's completely typescript and the auto gpt was python it's not critical that you know these languages in order to run it but just follow along these steps and i'll show you how you can set this up in your local system so before i go into the video just two things right you need node js um, and git in order to run this in your system so you can download node js so you can download relevant package for node js here and git from here and install it in your local system restart your computer and then go ahead and set this. just scroll to the getting started guide and copy the first command go to the folder where you want to set this up and open the command prompt and type git clone with the link to the repository this will clone all the files that you need in order to run it in your local system now for step 2 go inside the folder so copy this open the same command prompt and go inside the folder next you want to install the necessary libraries for this so this is using node js and it will need certain libraries to run so you need to do npm install this will install all the dependencies that you need for this you might remember this um as a pip install requirements command from auto gpt this is similar in this case we do npm install because this is node js uh, or javascript and not python so once the packages are involved you pretty much all set but you may also need to set up pinecone and an open ai api key in order to run this uh, given this works on gpt 3.5 and gpt 3 you can also set a serp api key if you want um if you want to use the search tool with baby agi anyways let's move forward now let's create an environment file for the pro project this basically means copy environment.example to environment so this is just an example file you need to change the name to dot environment this is what it does so if you face an error like this just go to this file and rename it to dot environment and you're all set now you should go in here and add your api key but you should also be able to set it via the console so if you don't want to do it from here it's fine okay so once that is done just go to the console and type npm npm run dev this will start your local server on this so control click on this if you are on windows this should hopefully open up a ui for bb agi and there you have it bb agi an autonomous agent that will complete your tasks in a ui just like chat gpt in order to add your api key just click on settings and add it here note that pasting your open ai api key is risky anywhere so once you paste it here while it's running on your local system once you paste it here ensure that you delete it just to be safe so let's save it and you can see there are a bunch of options there is open ai gpt4 open ai gpt 3.5 turbo and open ai text davinci 003 gonna use gpt 3.5 turbo because 4 is expensive and don't want to spend too much money iterations are the number of steps you want the model to process if you keep infinity it will keep on running until the objective is achieved let's say i wanted to do five iterations and and then you give it its first task right will uh, build a build a portfolio website for yash thakkar and let's go so you give it first task and then you put input your objective here okay, so once you input your objective just click here and this will start executing your task you can see the objective task list and the next executing task you can monitor the you can monitor the console here note that i have not added my pinecone api key which is fine because i'm not processing any you know large amount of information you can see as an ai i'm not able to access with personal information however i can suggest some steps to build a portfolio website for yash kind of built out some general steps and now it's prioritizing task if there is any error like this you should be able to find it in the console but otherwise this will use your cpu in order to process these requests you can see it went ahead and it generated a new task list community building research and analyze successful generative ai communities choose a suitable platform for hosting such as discord 
read a welcoming inclusive message. Well, this reminds me, I have a Discord community for generative AI. So if you're interested, feel free to join the community. The link is in the description. You can see it's kind of also showcasing opportunities for members, foster relationships, monitor and analyze community metrics. Yeah. Then it generated, then it took the first task from the list and it is now executing that task. So build a community building that includes develop a plan for community building that includes target audience, content strategy and engagement metrics. So to create a platform where AI enthusiasts, researchers and practitioners can connect and collaborate to provide a space for sharing knowledge, to establish community of diverse members who can contribute to the advancement of generative AI research and development. It figured out the target audience. Um, it made a, also made a content strategy, regular blog posts, guest posts, tutorials, and most of this we already do in the community. Then engagement metrics, then engagement tactics, forum hosting community challenges, etc. Then it went ahead and you know built out a task list based on the task result. And then it picked first task from the task list. So you can see it's very extensive. It can keep on going until it kind of executes uh, every task, subtask, subtask, right? So it kind of keeps building subtask depending on the kind of activity you want to achieve. So initially it kind of went ahead and it created four major or five major goals. And you can see it's now creating tasks again. It created the task. It will then pri prioritize the tasks again and it will execute. Now from this point, you understand where this is going to be going, right? It's going to be continuously running on loop until you either stop it or you can also define how many iterations you want the model to do in the first place when uh, you start setting this up. I'm going to stop it because I don't want to burn all my OpenAI credits. Note that every auto GPT today is in an experimental state. Ensure that you don't put out your OpenAI, OpenAI API key, Pinecone API key. Second, don't think of this as a replacement to your job. While it's great, you can see how generic it is right now. And while there is all the fuss around autonomous GPT, it can achieve very little at this point of time. All of this is just an experiment. But what's great is that you're learning all of these things. You're learning how to interact with machine. So in the future, you will be ready when there really needs a need to adopt autonomous GPT. So anyways, this is going to be it for the video, guys. I hope this video adds value to you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.